All right, Nick, let's talk about LSU football. LSU has been hot on the recruiting trail lately. They've been getting tons and tons of big-time prospects coming into the school as they always do, and that is no different than today of the signing or commitment of another big-time recruit to LSU football. I think this is going to be huge for the program. Yeah, I tell you what, Coach Kelly's done a phenomenal job very quickly revamping this program to its former glory. But before we talk about the future, let's take a step back and look at the past and some of these great LSU football players, specifically the wide receiver position, maybe the greatest wide receiver factor in the past 20 years in college football. That's what LSU has been. So that's why I got a really hard question for LSU Tiger fans to answer, as always, in the comment section below. Give me the greatest LSU Tiger wide receiver in program history. There are so many crazy good names you could go throughout there. We could spend an entire show just listing all the great LSU Tiger uh, wide receivers, but we want to put the pressure on you guys, the fans, because we know you guys really know the answer here. Give me the greatest LSU wide receiver of all time uh, in the comment section below. But all right, Miles, what you got? What's going on with uh, Coach Kelly and LSU? Yeah, Nick, this might not be a wide receiver, but this is another legitimate pass-catching threat that has now signed with LSU. I'm going to bring up the article here. I keep saying signed, but he's actually just committed. This is a 2024 commit, but everyone, I believe they understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, here it says, next, LSU has landed a commitment from the number two prospect in Louisiana. East Feliciana's Trey Des Green, great name, is staying home to play for the Tigers, the six foot six standout who has LSU offers in football and basketball, is the number three tight end in America. So, Nick, number two player in Louisiana, number three tight end in the country. This guy looks like one of the best tight end prospects we have seen in a long time. This guy is six foot, six and a half, weighs 240 pounds almost. He is an absolute monster for a high schooler. This guy is just ridiculous stat-wise. He's an elite athlete. You know how we hear all the stories about some of these elite tight ends always play basketball. Well, this guy is none the less the same. He's gotten offers from LSU to go play basketball. He's an extremely high-level basketball player as well. But I think this just goes back to what we've been talking about all offseason, Nick, is for you to get back to your return to glory as a team, you got to win the local recruits, and this is just another example of that, getting the number two player in Louisiana. Uh, LSU is proving why they're the big dog in Louisiana, and this is also going to help to prove why they are a big dog in the SEC as well after a very promising season last season. But Nick, nonetheless, what do you think about LSU's commitment from Tradez Green? Yeah, I think it's awesome. And for the exact points you brought up, I couldn't have said it better than myself because they were able to ensure Green's commitment over Alabama, which under Nick Saban has made just a dent in LSU recruiting because Nick Saban has been a heck of a recruiter for the Crimson Tide. And he's just been the ability for him to go into LSU and just steal guys that LSU, frankly, should never have lost has really hurt the LSU program at times. Getting a guy like Green, again, that Alabama was targeting. He had an offer from Alabama. He was being heavily recruited by the Crimson Tide. LSU and Coach Kelly were able to keep him in-house, keep him in-state, and get him to commitment uh, or commit Excuse me, to the Tigers. I think that's a great sign. And you also brought up the second point here, is that teams, if you want to win big, Early in the recruiting cycle, you have to dominate local and then go national. You start local and then spread out. That's what the smart teams do. That's what the good teams do. And that's exactly what LSU is doing. If you look at the 247sports.com 2024 football commits, LSU's uh, commits has by far the majority of their commits so far are from LSU. They've got seven, I believe there are 13 commits, if I did that math right in my head, are from the state of Louisiana. That's how you get it done. You win the local guys first, you focus on what's in-house, the low-hanging fruit, and then you go national. Because if you focus too much on the national, you focus too much on the on the big star in California or the big guy up in Michigan or whatever like that, and you lose the local territory, that can have effects for years to come. Focus on the local guys first, get them commitment, get them, get them committed, get them in house and then go national or go, go national. And I think that's exactly what Coach Kelly and company are doing. And they're doing a great job doing it. And I think it's a great sign for this program going forward into the future of 2024 and beyond. Yeah, no. And I think you're exactly right, because he's not only battling against Alabama. You got, you know, the other recent big dog powerhouse recruiter in Deion Sanders down in Colorado. Coach Prime trying to recruit this guy he is pretty persuasive. So at times, you know, a guy like Trey Des Green is like, hey, I want to stay home. I want to go down to Baton Rouge. You know, I, I think it's going to be a great fit for him, uh, Nick. But this guy also, I think he's going to bring a lot to this program. Uh, I just reading about him and just doing the research we did before the show. 
He seems like a contested catch monster. Uh, in 11 of his last 12 games, he scored a touchdown, at least one touchdown in 11 of his last 12 games, where three games he scored two or more touchdowns as well. So this guy, you know, six foot seven, almost 240 pounds, big time contested catch winner, big time red zone threat. I think he's going to add a lot of dimension to this LSU offense. I think Jaden Daniels is going to find potentially one of his new favorite targets. Uh, but I think this guy is actually going to be just very, very good for LSU. I, I'm really excited to see how he develops over the coming seasons.